Hello guys, here is Alex from Creative Team and this is the third video tutorial where you will learn how to build an admin template using our product Light Bootstrap Dashboard. In the second video tutorial we've created the post page from the WordPress admin. It's looking like this. We've got the inspiration from this page. And in this video tutorial we will create the appearance page because this because it has these nice cards with images and actions and it will be a good exercise uh, that you can do. So I'm going to my folder and I'll duplicate the post page and call it appearance. Now I have to look for an icon. I think the paint bucket is uh, looking good. I'll copy this here to have it and duplicate the first link. I remove the active class and put the, the icon. Okay, oh, it looks like I'm still on the post page. I'm moving to appearance.html. And we've got the sidebar, and on the main content, I will delete everything to have uh, a clean space for uh, the new cars that we will create. I'm looking for the content class, here it is, and I'll keep uh, only the card class for the cards that we will create. I will remove the cards post class then I will delete everything that is inside uh, this div. I will uh, make it column medium uh, 4 and you can see here is the small card but it doesn't have any content inside. I will add an image inside the card. I have it here. You can see that the image is taking the whole space, so we have to limit its width to the size of the card. So I'll write some new CSS style. For all the images that are inside the card and I'll set the max width to 100%. In this way the image is taking uh, the width of the card. Now I want to check the border radius. It looks like something is uh, wrong here. You see the card class has a 4 pixel border radius and the image doesn't have it. So if I add the 4 pixels border radius to the image everything would be fine. Yeah, since in the footer of this card I will um, I will set the border radius just for the upper part of the image. I will add a footer class and then I will insert the name of the theme. Now I will add some buttons.
and we also need some icons so the picture icon will be for the live preview of the theme I will also add the tooltip on this button so it will tell you exactly what the button does now I will copy this and create a new button for the activation of the theme for which I will use the check icon I'll make this gray using the default class and this will be the call to action button now let's see oops something is not good I think this is better now I want to do the title to the left and the buttons to the right of the footer I will also add some padding and a border to, to that footer now let's push this to the left and the buttons to the right okay this is happening when you have some elements that are pushed to the left and some elements that are pushed to the right because they have the float left and the float right properties so the footer is losing its space I can fix this using the clear fix class that's it's uh, from bootstrap uh, let's see okay we've got the footer I will add some padding and also a border to the top how I already said Ten pixels would, would look okay. A gray border. And I'll also add one pixel to a margin top of one pixel to make uh, sure that we see that border. And this is better small okay it's looking good I'll copy these properties I'll add a new class here call it card theme and I'll copy my properties now these buttons should, should have a space between them I will add some margin left to, to the buttons and they will look better that's better okay let me close this we don't need it anymore now you see uh, these cards have a notification area so we will add that one to our cards too I will create another card okay we will get the alert class from bootstrap I'm going to components and we have the alerts here this is orange I will take the alert warning and I will add an, uh, an icon and the update text that is from uh, WordPress Okay, so this is what we have 
we need to add some style for this notification. So I will set the position absolute so it will be placed over the card. I will uh, remove the border radius and then I'll set the width to 100%. Now we need to set a relative position for the parent card. And then I'll add some space to, to the top of this uh, notification. And this is looking good. I'm going to my style. I will add the relative position for the parent of that notification, so for the class uh, card. Card theme actually. That's looking good. Now for the active theme, we need a different button. So I'll create a new card. And I'll keep only one button. There will be no icon. I'll add the text and no uh, no tooltip for it, so I have to delete it. Well, now I want to add a new link here. Then I'll create an empty template and then I'll link all the pages between them. I will take the plugin icon I'll add it here. This will be the other, and this would be the link to the new template that we, we will have. So in our first template.html, we have the page with the dashboard inspired from the WordPress. I will uh, rename it to dashboard wordpress.html so you will know what you have here. We have the posts and appearance. I will duplicate this page. I will call it uh, template.html. And then I would like to clean everything that is inside this file. So this would be the sandbox for you. On the left side, I will add the navigation. Active will be this link. And let's clean everything. Okay, it looks like I have to update also this link here. I'll copy here. So we have the posts, we have the appearance, oh, we have the posts again. I have to fix this too, let's do it again. Okay, we are on the appearance page. 
we have the experience.html we have the template I'm going to dashboard so it's dashboard now everything seems fine and then we're adding the active class to the template now for the posts I'll copy everything here too for the dashboard dot wordpress dot html Going to appearance, going to posts, going to dashboard, and in the other you have the empty template. It looks like uh, these images are too big. I think it's because of our uh, last changes that we added to the CSS file. So it looks that uh, when I added the style for the images that are inside the cards from the appearance page, I use that style also for uh, all the images that are any card. So we have to fix this. So what I can do is to move all the styles that are for card posts after the other card styles so this is better okay guys this was the third video tutorial don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to get more video tutorials good luck with the development and we see each other next time